Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part four for this news bulletin today and this weekend. I want to make sure I got a lot of this news been backed up um, out there for the weekend. Today's Friday, September 14th, 2012, and I'm Darko. And my website is ggnonline.com. Go there and check it out. And if you'd like to help me out with a donation, it'd be appreciated. And all the headlines and links will be posted in YouTube's video description. So we're talking about eugenics. We talked about cyborgs and that and got into some vaccination, eugenics, depopulation stuff. And we'll just continue there with this last video for today. FDA sued for failing to meet food safety deadlines. So this is the administration that's there to protect your food, right? Wrong. No, they're there to be as a payoff, a go-between between you and these companies. And you could just not buy their products, but um, they're there to make sure that it's harder for you to find healthier food right like organic they make it harder to do that if you don't want rvst in your food well they have to uh put a big label on there so that if you do try to advertise healthier food that doesn't have that shit in there like monsanto's uh, growth hormones and all that then uh, you're gonna have to put a label that says well the fda says there's no difference between milk derived from rvst and those that aren't you know uh, but there is a difference it's not as healthy and people know that so you know that's what they're there for they're there to get paid off like a big fucking mafia family uh, for these big corporations they don't work for you so claiming inaction is threatening the nation's public health two advocacy groups have sued the fda for missing seven deadlines for Im implementing a new food safety law the epa has changed its rules to allow more toxic cleaning chemicals into mainstream food just recently it said the epa made a ruling on the use of chemicals that use for a variety of products, including sanitizing cleaners for facilities of food industry providers and restaurants, the chemical will show up in processed foods. And that kind of brings us to this. The pink slime, remember that? Maker slaps ABC with defamation suit because, well, they brought their uh, f lean, finely textured uh, beef that was, I think it was treated with ammonia, uh, to the public's uh, attention. And a lot of them stopped. Uh, going there and buying it and they lost a lot of money and now they want to recoup that so if they would have just been honest with their consumers maybe they would have been so pissed off and just uh, uh, reject their product entirely so seven new toxic genetically modified crops are up for government approval so Monsanto is building up a food supply you can count on for allergies organ damage cancer immunotoxins of course sterilizing you uh, but there are many up here uh, including tolerant soybeans and tolerant canola tolerant corn this is all due to the um, geoengineering the weather modification that they're doing manipulating jet streams gulf streams um, uh, so that everything is unnatural and so now everything has to be able to adapt to the unnatural environment then next we have stanford anti-organic study plays into un codex elementarius outline for global depopulation which is as they keep putting all this crap food out there uh, saying there's too many people we got to use gmo to feed all the hungry starving people well there's middle lower class people that could afford uh, uh, you know decent food over here. It's just that these that these uh, FDA and all these government uh, uh, branches are there to make it harder for you to find uh, better food, uh, cleaner water, and cleaner air because they're the ones that are allowing the poisoning of the air through the aerosols. They're allowing the poison of the water uh, through fluoride, uh, chlorine. Uh, they don't filter out any pharmaceutical drugs that are in there. Uh, all kinds of different stuff. And then, of course, the food as well. So, but the globalist funded researchers at Stanford created a propaganda study to assert that the nutritional values of organic food are not more conventionally, uh, not more than conventionally grown and uh, GMO food. The study claims that the price hike of the organic food, combined with researchers' allegation that the organic food supporters overblown health benefits result in no advantages of organic meat and produce. Canadians uh, were the first uh, guinea pigs. They were actually testing the genetically modified food up there in Canada for a long time, right, in the 90s. And uh, here in China, they're testing it on children. But China denies that kids were used in genetically modified rice tests. So no real need to go in there. They're just going to deny, 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 right? Deny everything, like the X-Files and the Smoking Man. Uh, then we have what cell phone radiation underestimated for children and this is a study coming out of the university of utah saying the uh they underestimated uh, the absorbed cell phone radiation especially in children in the u.s the fcc determines maximum allowed exposure many countries especially eu members use the guidelines of the international commission of non-ionizing radiation protection 
and radio frequency or RF exposure to a head smaller uh, than SAM, which up here is specific uh, anthropomorphic mannequin, basically a mannequin, an adult mannequin, will absorb a relatively higher uh, SAR, which is specific absorption rate. Sorry about all these little uh, abbreviations. So they're talking about the abbreviation of radiation uh, and also the SAM, the mannequin, uses a fluid having the average electrical properties of the head that cannot indicate absorption of specific brain tissue nor absorption in children or smaller adults. So the absorption rate for this radiation from cell phones for a 10 year old is up to 153 percent higher than uh, the absorption rate for the mannequin model. So in other words, they're calling for a new certification process for um, the smaller people, the little people, right? And I've covered this before about Barry Trower and how he's saying that uh, this UN, the UN uh, regulation or research come out with the results of the effects of cell phones on children in about 20 to 30 years after most of them have brain tumors and stuff like that, right? That's basically how it works uh, in adults too. So. Did Cheryl Crow's cell phone give her a brain tumor? So we break down the science. So they're going to break it down for you. She admitted that she had been diagnosed with a brain tumor, though she was quick to let her fans know that it was benign and she was doing just fine. She's now talking more candidly about what she thinks the cause of the tumor was. Speaking with Katie Couric, Cheryl Crow said she thought her tumor was caused by cell phone radiation. I do have that theory that it's possible that it's related to that. I used to spend hours on the old archaic cell phones. She also admitted that there were no doctors who could confirm her suspicions, even though she felt she had adequate reasons to back up her claims, explaining that her tumor was in part uh, of her brain, was in a part of her brain, sorry, where she had often held her, her phone. So check out my video, Battle Cry for a Planet of Victims. And talking about using the government, uh, pharma companies, uh, telecom companies, defense contractors, they use the government against you as the lone uh, sovereign individual you are fucked over by the government uh, six ways the Sunday uh, because of this. I was just talking about this. Because people that are professionals or are into health are basically, they're knowledgeable about health. They're alternative health practitioners. And they're very smart and they help a lot of people. Now the thing is, they call it quackery and stuff like that. And uh, all these people that basically read off a, a computer screen and go through a list of steps of how to treat you and issue pharmaceutical drugs they're, they're called doctors right and so they laugh at anybody else that tries to speak up for these poor people that are getting uh, cancer that is being caused by these cell phones so they have no credibility because the government issues credibility only to the pharma complex the drug dealers that your doctor this all right so moving down here this article is going to say what but is there any scientific evidence to show that cell phones can cause cancer? Well, in 2011, Journal of National Cancer Institute, which is probably, you know, they help make sure that you don't find a cure because cancer is a big business, uh, published the first study on cell phone use and risk of brain tumors in children and teens. The study concluded that there was no clear link between cell phone usage and cancer. As recently as June, the FCC asked for a review of the agency's standards on radio frequency energy emitted from cell phones amid lingering concerns that the devices may uh, cause brain tumors because they don't believe the medical establishment that's telling them that it's okay. In a, statement, in a statement, the FCC said the agency continues to believe there is no evidence tying cancer or health problems to the mobile phones, but that the inquiry would seek any scientific evidence that could warrant changes to the emission standards. Right. In other words, uh, if these advocacy groups that are based off just good faith of individuals who don't want to be irradiated for having to uh, be on their phones... Uh, unless they can come up with more money than the telecom companies, millions and millions of dollars to lobby these freaking sellouts um, in Washington, then uh, nothing's going to change. That's basically what they're saying. The mobile phone radiation is a possible cancer risk, warns who? They know it is. A review of published evidence suggests there may be some risk of cancer from using a cell phone. So there you go. Then New, a New Mexico study says links cell phone use to cancer. A state survey of research into the health impacts of cell phones and towers, cell towers, that's another one, warns of possible cancer risk. The survey conducted by employees of the State Departments of Health and Environment um, basically went on to release this last October, saying that uh, because exposure to radio frequencies or electromagnetic frequencies is possibly carcinogenic, uh, cell phone users may want to use a hands-free device 
or use the text function more frequently, uh, make fewer or shorter cell phone calls, and use a landline when available. Unfortunately, regarding the mobile phone base stations such as the towers, Wi-Fi cell towers, the study made uh, no findings concerning self-reported symptoms. So people know, but they're not going to get help. Study mammogram radiation may put young women at high risk of breast cancer. September 7th of this year says radiation that young women are exposed to during mammograms may actually put them at a significantly higher risk of developing breast cancer, especially if they're genetically predisposed to it, according to a study from the British Medical Journal. Secret body scanners with 50 times more radiation than airport x-ray scanners to be rolled out soon. Then to radiation. Fukushima fish have 258 times safe level of radiation, and Japan's latest nuclear crisis is getting rid of the radioactive debris. And um, one of the things, that someone left a comment about um, about someone, I don't know if this is true, but he left a comment saying that he talked to someone that was actually worked for the CIA, left in the early 2000s, and worked for a think tank. And he said, well, what are you thinking about? And the guy said, well, we think about the most efficient way to kill people. And he said, well, what did you find? And he said, well, the combination of gas and radiation. So depopulation agenda is at work, I think. Fukushima nuclear plant worker dies of heart attack. So along with the BP in Fukushima, I think they got what they want, right? Fukushima nuclear plant dies of a heart attack. Then Japan, just recently, the 14th, Japan were quitting nuclear power eventually. This is hard, man. This is what uh, helped trigger World War II. This is because Japan is already one of the world's largest importers of coal, natural gas, and oil. They have nothing. So they maybe they go to solar, I don't know, wind. And a study links kidney disease in Sri Lanka's farm belt to agrochemicals. A new report links the high prevalence of chronic kidney disease in Sri Lanka's main agricultural production region with the presence of heavy metals and water caused by fertilizer and pesticide use. Now we know this. Monsanto's GMO seeds contributing to farmer suicides every 30 minutes. That's in the Battle Cry for Planet of Victims video. From December of last year, mysterious kidney disease killing Central American men. They say more workers are failing, uh, falling ill with a disease that shuts down their kidneys. It's unexplained, but the latest theory is that the victims are literally working themselves to death. They say it's wasting away our population, which is the purpose. So they're working at these sugar cane um, plantations goes on and says that one of the doctors thinks the major cause of the kidney damage is toxic chemicals pesticides and herbicides that are routinely used in agriculture but no Daniel Brooks of Boston University says it's heat stress that's what's causing it gives statins to all over 50s even the healthy should take a hard drug says the British experts he said evidence from the 130,000 guinea pigs taking statins show they're safe but Dr. McCullough says do you take any of these 11 dangerous cholesterol drugs but he says he, he couldn't disagree more. He says statins, that is, they're blocking the enzyme in your liver, liver that is responsible for making cholesterol. The fact that statin drugs cause side effects is well established. Now there's 900 studies proving their adverse effects, which run the gamut from muscle problems to increased cancer risk, even uh, helping to cause diabetes. So th same thing, just like pushing the statins, heroin substitute methadone works and saves lives. So, yeah, talking about a heroin substitute, then drug death toll hits record high with 1 in 100 Scots killed. Shockingly, heroin substitute methadone was involved in more deaths than the drug itself. But hey, from Science Daily, uh, methadone substitute, a new and cheaper way to treat heroin addiction. It was back in 2006, then 2012, town hits out and proposals to introduce a heroin substitute methadone clinic. So they want a new methadone clinic. The next up, marijuana. Marijuana compound is found to be superior to drugs for Alzheimer's. So motor neuron disease sufferer, I guess it's Alzheimer's, a 71-year-old took his own life, basically euthanasia after a drug overdose. So he committed suicide after watching a TV program about euthanasia by Right to Die campaigner, this guy, and author Sir Terry Pritchard. Sir Terry, who has Alzheimer's, has been a vocal in his campaign to legalize assisted death in the UK. Now, I'm not against this. I'm just saying that when it's when it's when you're gonna be forced to be euthanized because you have this then that's a problem right but what's the problem why can't people use hemp oil to treat alzheimer's or marijuana why is it illegal so this is this is just bullshit propaganda to let you think that the government's going to there and they're caring for you they're compassionate they're going to let you die well they want you to die fertility fears for hundreds of women after reports removable contraceptive implants can go missing inside their bodies and older women can now be left with no chance of having children 
Thank you.